what is all of this foil? What have you done to your room? And what are these ugly posters? Grandma, I have the tin foil in my room to protect the race from the government from tracking me. The government knows on how much I know. Like, it, that's why I gotta have the tin foil up. It's like the, the Kentucky Goblin. The, the Kentucky Goblin caused 9-11, Grandma. Oh. Just like, just like the Mapinguari found in Brazil. Apparently it was found in someone's mom's house. <clears throat> and like the Tokolo she found in South Africa. You see it? You see the hole in his head? It's like to use for mind, mind control. And he caused Donald Trump to become president. Grandma. But here's what confuses me. All of these entities must be connected to like one major like king of entities like maybe in our attic or maybe maybe even maybe even in my room oh you said Oh, this place is weird. That's vague. I think you're more used to the big, bright city. What are you guys here down? Let's go tonight. I wonder how no one's going. Last what I heard, he's been going a little crazy. He's not crazy. He's a conspiracy theorist. I bet he has like a tinfoil in his room or something. Yeah? I'm here. Sick man. Where is it? Pay me my honey dollars first. No way. Give me it first. Not here. Then where? I said, it ain't here right now. You're the expert anyhow. You're the one that would know when it washes up. Two hours. Meet me there. Unless, of course, you want to hang out. All right, boss. I'm good. Okay. I'll be there. I got a hundred reasons to be. Where is he, man? Oh, that's me. Maybe something came up. He's wasting my time right now. Hey, there he is. Hey, Nolan. Got a spooky relic or something in your bag? Oh, looks empty. Nice to see you too. Hey, Nolan, how you doing? So, what's this meetup all about? Well, I was thinking we could go to the beach or something. What? No freaky stuff? No, oh, that's too bad. You know what, Coolio? If you found anything supernatural, I bet you freak out. Oh, but you know what, Nolan? I bet you're never gonna figure that out, because that stuff doesn't even exist. Wait, hold on, Bob. What? What? Never mind.
Where's my money? What? What the heck? Show me the money and I'll show you the goods. Ah, the money. The money. It's all here. It's all here. <laughs> so, so where is it, old man? Pleasure doing business with you. But be forewarned. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The arrival is imminent! Got a dip, bro. <laughs> Who was that, geezer? Uh, um, were you helping the homeless? Oh, that's sweet. No, it's weird. What's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, Nolan, why did you run away? Yeah. If you didn't want us here, why'd you even invite us, man? You just came to talk to old men, you can do that safe way. I don't know. Look up there! Oh my gosh, what is that? Be careful! Why? No one. You didn't pay that old guy for this, did you? Too many questions. Wait there. I'm gonna go take a look at this thing. Hey, whatever, man. All right, more beach time for me. stay overnight because you know, you've got an extra room. What? No, you guys can't do that. Why not, man? I must be too. But you guys can't. You can't do that. Oh my gosh. Bro, I, I don't want you at my house, okay? Like, there's no reason for you to... You have a guest room. It's, it's, it's money conservation, man. It's... I don't care. It's for the same reason that you would fold toilet paper. Hmm. No! Two of my favorite kids! How have you guys been? Hi, Hi Grandma. Grandma. Oh no. You know, Grandma. Oh no. I, oh, what, I, what, I, I, what I, is that doing there? Is this what you were looking for? This is a piece of junk! Good call. It is garbage, Nolan. I think it's adorable. Okay, fine. Maybe you should just leave. Nolan, that is so rude. You guys are welcome to stay for dinner. You know, Nolan actually invited us to stay overnight. He did? Yeah. Oh, that is really great. Paula, you can take the spare bedroom, but don't take that box with you. Yeah. That's all right, Grandma Arno. I'll sleep on the couch. Oh, whatever you want, Paula. I think we'll go up and make dinner now. Bro, what are you guys doing? We're just being friends to you. And the box. Oh, so, dude. So cool. Oh, do you got these blankets? Ready? How's that feel? So hot. Oh, hey, Nolan. Right. Cut the crap. What's going on? What do you mean? This is having a big old children's sleepover, man. I won't be. Also, that box is a magical artifact. Okay. Okay, sure. Buck up. What's it going to do? It's going to turn into a, a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Arrgh! I'm going to bite you. No, man. I mean, like, don't touch the box. Like, we touched it all day. Well, we, there's not one. Well, bro, I mean, like, don't, like, I don't mean, like, keep your hands on it or, like, whatever, but, like, don't touch whatever comes outside of the box, right? Don't talk to it. 
Two things, Nolan. One, it doesn't have hinges, okay? Nothing's going to come out of it. And two, it's an inanimate object. Who, who would talk to a box? There you are. Such a nice box. Someone needs to take better care of you. See a doctor about that. God, no one your ass smells like cookies. No. God damn it, Nolan. Don't touch what comes out. Oh NOLAN! Uh, Coolio? Okay. Damn it, Nolan. Hey, where are we going? Shut up. Okay. Shut up, you dirty plywood. Jeez. <laughs> Hear that, Nolan? It's not easy being the best. Cops, bro. Nolan, what is happening out there? What are those things? What, what do they what do they want? I told you, Coolio, it's the artifact. So this was you. You have any idea how insane you sound right now? I just wanted to prove to you it was real. Yeah, well, good job, okay? I'm sorry. You win. You happy now? It's all of your fault, Coolio. Me? How? Was I the one who wanted that dumb box? Well, maybe if you just treated me better. What, Nolan? What then? God. We're just kids. Nolan, Nolan. Not all of us are. Oh my, oh my gosh. What is this abomination? Grandma, whatever you do, stop. Grandma, 
Those things can happen. Sorry for not listening.